to here. It's, you want to go up, and that pulls you from the floor. And then when you fall, the pelvis, the weight of the pelvis, is what pulls you back down. Because what I'm seeing a little bit of is, but to me, that's not, that's what you do in culture room, look for me. But here, this is really about a purpose, getting up there. And you have, a, you have to see what you're after. Even if it's fast, that pulls you up. So try not coming all the way. Directing is, for me, being actually relatively new at it, it's a scary challenge. It's a huge responsibility um, because I realize that everything I say or show, the dancers who are wonderfully open and receptive are going to take it in and, and try to go with it. So I really have to try to find the right words and the right images and the right encouragements or the right suggestions that will help them find what I want them to find in the dance. And I feel a big responsibility there. Um, so in a way that's sort of exciting, but also a little I wouldn't say scary, but it is a big responsibility. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> so, here, 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 you're here. You can do So, she's clinging. is one that, it was one of the first that I learned. I learned in the first season I joined the company. And I'm now working from a reconstruction that Jim May did a couple years ago from the version he learned originally, way back when, with the Players Project, and um, some videos of the dance done in 1969 by Danny Lewis's company. And when Anna taught it to us, the choreography was completely different uh, because she, I don't think she ever reconstructed things. She always created them anew. She had, looking back at it, she used a lot of the same themes. Um, so I can't go on my muscle memory of what we did. That doesn't matter. Um, I have to help find what, um, you know, even though there's a structure that I'm going back to, uh, I have to help everyone find their own way through it. Um, Anna did want people to do things their own way. She's wanted to see real, honest movement that represented the individual. She never wanted one person to do something exactly the same way as someone else. So. I have to try to help everyone find their own way through this movement and to make it look believable to the audience, which means that the people themselves, the dancers themselves, believe it when they're doing it. 
So it has to be very real for them. It is um, the whirly birds, mm -hmm. and we end with um, there's a black elf. Um, I'm going to do some research and see how many other versions the woman runs away. When I saw it, she didn't. Right. It was a he, actually. Didn't. She didn't anyway, that's the last thing we see here. Is, and then there's a blackout. Um, in the, other, the second version, there's a struggle, and the man falls down. And he then goes into the arch from that. But I think the light is going to find you falling down on the Right. Last time we did it, everything in my head was of my dad's story and the Holocaust, because that's what was in my head. And now I'm watching Syrian refugees and all the crazy horrors now. So it's very different. I wouldn't even pick the same poem. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's why I, I wanted to do this piece, uh, because of what's going on with you know, so many people. I mean, this country has more people in prison, I understand, than any other country in the world. By a lot. By a lot. Because they're for profit. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, this piece is, the theme is imprisonment, oppression. Um, I don't know if Anna intended it to be a specific example of that, or if she was just looking at that as a human phenomenon. What happens to people when they are trapped wrongly um, and I felt it was really important to do this piece now not that I want not that it's a political statement um, it's just let's look at what it really means to be in that situation